Hey guys, I'm Leo Catalano, owner and creator of Leo Smash Burgers Pop Up Burger Store. This is Leo Smash Burgers Pop Tin. Instead of me popping up, cooking my take on an American Smash Burger, I'll be popping in to different burger joints in and around Melbourne. This is a special edition episode. Instead of me popping in to a burger restaurant, today I'm popping in to some classic donuts. And this is episode number seven. I'm turning dreams into reality. In the lab with the formula and chemistry. The memories spark and motivate and make the industry shake. We put the bars in the place. I'm talking one, one chance at best. Yes, painting princes for the culture, keep the brushes fresh. Flip the cover, work the drum, a passion never rests. Freedom is our teacher under pressure, now we bless. See, I was so good for the go. It's one art, one shot, now the future is yours. Go! Yeah, it's one all one shot, now the future is yours, go! For today's special episode, this restaurant started off as an online delivery and pop-up service. After a successful year, they finally opened their very own restaurant. Owner Alban, personal trainer, qualified chef, has always felt food and fitness a big part of his life. But he breaks down them both, so you get the best of both worlds. Don't cheat, treat yourself. Today, Leo Smash Burgers pops in X Road. Let's go in. Alban, Arby and AJ Luang, owners of Hex Road, started in the St. Berg's kitchen in Caroline Springs, where the Luang brothers were allowed to utilize the kitchen facilities by St. Berg's owner, Dan. From there, they moved to a ghost kitchen in North Melbourne, running a weekend online donut delivery service for customers all over the city of Melbourne. Arby takes care of all the beautiful content creation. AJ specializes in web design, marketing and telling their story. And Alban takes care of making the donuts. And after almost one year of working in ghost kitchens, they have finally and well deserved opened their very own store in which we are at today. Alvin, your journey has seen you evolve from personal trainer to chef. What was the inspiration behind your creation of the Artisan Donuts? I think it just all stemmed from my love and passion for food. And so as a personal trainer, you kind of sort of perceive food as fuel, like a source of fuel, whereas as a chef, you kind of see it more of an art form and everything. And so you kind of, I kind of wanted to bring both worlds together where I could sort of create a space where it's um, bringing people together and like making people happy in the shape of a donut. The amount of support that we've had ever since we even just started from the concept all the way from operating out of St. Berg's as a dark kitchen to North Melbourne as a commercial uh, kitchen space to prep all donuts for donuts and delivery uh, to now opening our shop. Like we weren't expecting to open up our own shop in a matter of a year. We were expecting it over three years or four years sort of stuff but like that. Um, yeah, with everyone's support and everything, like it's definitely made everything possible. So. Your donuts are made fresh every day. That's it. What are the most popular donuts on the menu? I'd have to say the um, original glaze will definitely be up there, just because uh, like it's, it's an absolute classic. Like every time you think donuts, you think OG glaze. Like you, you have to get that. Not only do you have donuts on the menu, you have now expanded and added on deli sandwiches. How's that going? Yeah, the deli sandwiches is definitely a hit. And it really brings it back to me when I was working in restaurants and stuff and being able to serve a la carte sort of menu items and everything. And back then, when Pex Road was just an idea, it was always gonna have like an expanded sort of menu. Donuts was just kind of our foot in the door. So you get a savory, you get sweets, yeah, you got everything here. You get the best of both worlds. Exactly. So like you treat yourself in like different ways, whether you want to indulge in like, a bit more sort of sweet or sweet, uh, savory kind of, yep. kind of habit. So, yep. yeah. Can you take us in the kitchen and show us how these artisan donuts and amazing deli sandwiches are made? Yeah, let's do it, man. Yeah, it's okay. it's easy. This is where all the magic happens. How do you 
do one now. Basically what I'm doing is just weighing up the dough for tomorrow. That way it just gets the yeast activated and everything's rested and everything's just like getting to know each other. This is a Casalingo white uh, sourdough bread. We get it from Rustica Bakery. Again, always using high quality ingredients. So we get our pastrami from Humble Pleasures from, and we use our supplier Sabre and Grace. So New York thick cut pastrami, we pre-portion them to about 150 grams. We don't need to do much to it because the people who prepare them at Humble Pleasures and everything like already bring it to its highest quality. So what we're basically doing is just like finishing it off with the final touches of just like searing it, literally not even a minute each side, yep. putting it under the salamander and just like really rendering all that fat. Bit of salt. Our most popular um, sandwich on the menu, definitely the root sandwich. Yep. And um, yeah, it's definitely been a crowd favorite and definitely my favorite as well. So and that just gets under there for a little bit. So for our base, we make our own habanero mustard. We pickle habanero chilies, coriander roots and everything and just like really bring that sharpness together and tie that in with the American mustard and Dijon mustard. Sauerkraut, pickled chilies, just again, another punch of flavor. Nice sweet and tangy pickles and then some Swiss cheese. Perfect. Thyme, butter, salt. X Road sauce. It's pretty much our take on um, the Southwest sauce. Yep. We make our own mayonnaise using um, bird eggs. A bit more salt. This is going to on. Just you hear that crunch. So next we've got the truffle mushroom, which is our second most popular sandwich on the menu. So over here we have our um, portobello mushrooms as well as flat mushrooms. And we cook them down with caramelized onions, garlic, thyme, and we season it with like sea salt as well as white pepper and um, porcini powder. So we've got our portobello mushrooms. Season of salt, pepper, and watching powder. This in the mouth. And also using our thyme butter again. Here we have our housemade nutmeg bechamel. Nice and velvet and smooth. Dolce. This is again from Savor and Grace. That just fits under there. We got our shuffle paste. Again, nice and crispy. So here we have our um, ube donut. We use a ube base sort of dough as well. So we add our ube flavoring. So that's how you get that purple sort of color. Here we have the ube glaze. It's dipping like so. So we like to have a hole in the middle, so that way we just like acts as a sort of bed for all our other, other sort of ingredients and components. Yeah. 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 So it's not so much your traditional way of filling a donut through the side, just like your classic jam donuts and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So here we have a little bit of pastry cream. So we make this in the house as well. We have that just to the base. So right now I'm piping up the uh, ube whipped cream. So here we have our Swiss meringue shards over here. So these are just a melody of um, different dried flowers. And just a little pinch of that. That's a nice touch of contrast of colour. That is our ube donut. This will always be a part of the staple and stuff just because it hit home. It's home for a lot of our like Filipino community and we do want to like give back to and like highlight and showcase our culture. So, yeah. Album, thank you for letting us smash those pop in.
Next road. Love the man anytime. Today, my cheap treat day. Let's <laughs> yeah. enjoy. Alvin is a firm believer in the notion that a healthy lifestyle goes beyond physical fitness goals. He believes a healthy lifestyle is where fitness and indulgence have an affinity with one another. At Peck's Road, there is a great variety of artisan donuts ranging from the original glaze to the classic cinnamon and the apple fritter, just to name a few. You also need to keep an eye out for the monthly seasonal donuts the team at Pex Road released too, which never disappoints. And now, they also have delicious deli sandwiches and offer too. From the Pex Road BMT to the truffle mushroom toasty and the Pex Road Reuben. What the Lawang brothers have created in their handmade artisan donuts is an absolute must for any Melbourne foodie out there. Pex Road is located at shop A6 forward slash 1 to 7 Caroline Springs Boulevard. Caroline Springs. Founded by Alvin, Arby and AJ Lewain. Pex Road specializes in artisanal donuts, deli sandwiches, specialty coffee tea by locally espresso, protein shakes, delicious bumper, and cold pressed juices. Come visit and try their handcraft donuts, made fresh daily and open seven days a week from 8 a.m. Thanks for watching. Please click and subscribe for episode number eight. In the meantime, keep up to date on my social media for when Leo Smashburgers pops up. Until then, See you next time. I'm turning dreams into reality. In the lab with the formula and chemistry. The memories spark and motivate and make the industry shake. We put the bars in the place. I'm talking one, one chance at best. Yes, they eat pitches for the culture. Keep the pressure fresh. Flip the cover, work the drum, a passion never rests. Freedom is our teacher.